Hey everybody, Beandrew TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode here of our Brookfield Zoo recreation. So today, before we get looking at some of the brand new stuff there um, that I built there, uh, let's go ahead and jump back. I wanted to actually read a comment that pertained to last episode there because I kind of like when I build these things, like, you know, I'm like the builder, but I'm not like the historical or like knowledgeable guy, I guess, of, uh, for everything. So yeah, I can like build like a mean recreation kind of thing, but, and give like little tidbits of information or like personal insights, but I'm not always correct or, and I always don't give like the full picture or full scope of kind of the, uh, the thing that I build there. So, um, but the good thing is that there's plenty of you in comments, um, a few of you in particular that are uh, great at commenting and kind of picking up the slack where I kind of leave off there. So, um, one of you in particular, and I mentioned them before is inside the zoo and I've actually pinned their recent comment. I'll probably in the future continue to pin, uh, their comments and a few other of your uh, comments that uh, give off really, really great information there but I wanted to go through and read a few of their bullet points because um, yeah they give some uh, really great context and just uh, great information overall <clears throat> To, uh, to this area of the zoo here, this big cat walkway and uh, the building that it's attached to and everything. So, um, uh, yeah, so there's a few points that they had here. The smaller netted exhibit is actually home to a muir leopards, not clouded leopards. So I, I think I kept saying clouded leopards, but it's actually a muir leopards there. So I believe they talk, they're talking about the uh, small um, exhibit right here in front of us there, I believe. So uh, the interior of the building actually holds not one, but two exhibits um, known as Desert's Edge, which I did mention that one last time. That's um, And then there's the clouded leopard rainforest which is on the other side so yeah up, up front here at the one that we're closest to on the west side is desert's edge and farthest from us is clouded leopard rainforest uh desert's edge has meerkats porcupines mole rats ocelots and bat-eared foxes the clouded leopard rainforest has the namesake clouded leopard plus uh binturongs and fishing cats as well as a few herps so um uh, yeah so there you go so there's actually two exhibits on the inside of that building there um which again we almost did the interior for that building because it's really it's not too too much but uh uh, yeah, we're gonna we're saving uh, for diff different interiors there. So um, you are correct. The uh, yeah, the two lions that are in there are brothers. Uh, they're both brothers. They're two years old, and they arrived from the uh, Utah's Hogel Zoo in March. And that's why I remember it so specifically because ever since the, um, all the craziness has been going on um, this year, uh, I remember that the uh, yeah Brookfield Zoo has kind of been ramping up their YouTube channel a lot. And um, yeah, you can uh, they've been releasing a lot of videos about just about every single animal in the zoo. And they had a special about the two uh, the two new brothers that uh, came into the zoo there. Uh, the two lion brothers that is so um that's why i remember that one so well and then the last little thing i wanted to touch on that uh they noted was uh they're not exactly sure why the sloth bears are there either um they basically uh inside the zoo has the same guess as me is that when the um the bear grottles were dismantled uh they didn't really have anywhere to put the sloth bears so they stuck them over here because there is a great bear wilderness uh exhibit in the zoo that has like bears and stuff but it's more of a northwestern theme we're gonna get um northwest united states that is uh theme we're gonna get to that section of the zoo um in just a little bit but yeah uh the great uh what are they called the sloth bears I almost call them the great sloth bears uh the sloth bears are from india so they wouldn't really fit into that uh theme over there so that's probably why they just kind of stuck them over uh in this area here kind of thing so <laughs> there is that so uh with all that out of the way again big big thanks to uh, not only inside the zoo uh, which again if you want to see their whole comment there's a few more points they've made uh go ahead and check out the pin comments in the last video there uh but not just to them but there's a few other of you, others of you as well three or four of you that um, are right on the money uh, giving some great information um, about Brookfield Zoo there so um, as we what is what is happening oh my gosh <laughs> this is the worst I've seen it holy smokes uh, okay that's a new stuck location oh my gosh the pathing is not fixed jeez man oh man okay so as we're coming over here we're on the east side of uh, of our um, Big Cat Walkway, so closer to the Clouded Leopard Rainforest there, but you'll start to see some new uh, landscaping going on here, yeah? So yeah, this is where we are starting um, to see the Pinniped Point, it's called over here. So this is where our um, sea lions uh, and stuff like that are. Sea lions and walruses? No, I think it's just sea lions now. Um, there used to be more, but there's only two varieties now, I believe, here. Actually, let me pull it up. I wrote it down. Let me pull up what we have over here. We have uh, California sea lions and gray seals. I believe there used to be harbor seals 
Wales as well a few years back, but they no longer have them. But anyways, this is the uh, one of the entrances, uh, what I consider kind of the main entrance into Pinniped Point here. So um, yeah, this is all kind of marine life. So unfortunately, you're going to kind of need to use a lot of imagination over here, right? So uh, unfortunately, you know, if you've played the game, we don't have uh, any really marine life at all. So uh, sea lions and um, seals and all them aren't part of that. And we don't have those. So just picture it in your head, right? Or, or right? <laughs> just, just make that noise over and over again. And uh, then you'll, you'll kind of be there, right? So um, yeah, this is uh, one of the first little exhibits here. Um, I should know, I think I forgot to mention, I did not finish this off actually. I got probably about, uh, I think I'm pretty close, probably another two hours or so of work and I'd probably be uh, finished it up. But yeah, just didn't get the time in to finish the whole thing, but got a good, pretty good chunk of it uh, laid out there. So yeah, but this is the first little area here. Um, I'm not sure if they rotate the animals around, so I'm not sure if this is always uh, California sea lions, but I do know that um, you can see California sea lions in here. Um, and then as you kind of walk over this way, start to see another um, exhibit here. And uh, again, I think that they, um, what are the, uh, what's the other ones that are in here? Uh, the gray seals, I think gray seals um, frequent this one. And again, they, I think they might intermix or, you know, inter, uh, kind of switch around the seals and everything so they're not always in the same um, exhibit there. So you have that exhibit there. And I mean, it's just, it's so plain looking without an actual, uh, you know, sea lion or anything like that, right? So I, don't know, I might go into the workshop, but I'm sure some of you have made some uh, um, awesome figurines or at least uh, stand-ins that we can maybe put down in there. So um, yeah, those are the first two exhibits there. And then as you come around this way, Notice that you have just kind of two pathways here. This one's supposed to be, I think it kind of shrunk down, but this is uh, supposed to be a taller pathway over here. So you get a little bit of a, uh, um, kind of a taller view over everything there. I didn't really make it tall enough there, but that's okay. Good enough, right? Good enough. So then as you come around this way, I've loved using these uh, these beams here. So yeah, the Planet Zoo brace round, which are yeah in your structural props right down here. I don't, just, it was me personally, but I just kind of always passed up on these guys and they're recolorable, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, they just fit into this, you know, they're trying to get this kind of, I think, just seaside port kind of feel as we go around here. So, um, but there is that, yeah, and then we kind of, go around here and this is the section where it really kind of the day took the building day took a turn because uh, as you can see up, to, up until this point we we're using regular paths and then right here it turns and that's because i actually got rid of using paths altogether i had to walk away from planet zoo a few times today because pathing was atrocious. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. Um, and I'll show you why. So as we uh, go over this way, this little uh, nook right here, this little overhang leads to a little uh, downstairs part here. So yeah, we go down. I'm not, this is where we start to get into kind of half done, half ass done kind of stuff there. So don't mind this. Um, but yeah, you go down here and you see we're using regular path into a uh, pretty nice, oh, I got a low bridge, a pretty nice little uh, still under construction uh, viewing plaza, viewing area. Here. Here, underwater viewing uh, area so yeah I built this out and everything and then um, yeah when I came up oh my gosh there's a tree there too you can definitely tell where I kind of stopped building right <laughs> but anyways when I went back up top to build this what would be this path here uh, it didn't like that because the viewing gallery is right underneath right here the two of them and there just wasn't like enough quote-unquote like land I guess underneath of it I don't know it's weird uh, for it to actually work. So yeah, I just I, after fiddling with it for a few hours, I was finally like, you know what? Guests aren't even gonna come up here ever. <laughs> like there will never be a reason for them to come up here. I can put like a vending machine or something like that and a few of them might straggle over here. But other than that, yeah, they won't come up here. So screw using paths basically. <laughs> I just stopped using paths and have been laying down the, uh, what are these called here? The plaster wall sets. Uh, over and over again as my paths instead. So uh, yeah, we are going full on model train right here uh, building basically, right? So no guests will come over here and we're just building out like a model train set. So, um, but again, I know I kind of went over it really quick, but yeah, there is a viewing gallery. Oops, sorry. Uh, where are we at? There we are. There, there is a viewing gallery down here. Got to kind of gussy it up and build it up a little bit more. But um, yeah, this should look really, really nice. And um, I, re I remember this very vividly uh, the last time we went to um, uh, Brookfield Zoo because uh, there was a whatever was in here the sea lion or whatever was uh, either 
following us or just going back and forth at the same time we were. And Michaela had some fun kind of running back and forth and the thing was definitely like, it looked like following her back and forth. So that was a fun little memory from uh, the last time we were there. So, um, but yeah, and again, that's kind of where I started to um, wrap up. You can kind of see this last, uh, these last two um, exhibits here. This one is closer to being done than this one is for sure. But um, yeah, there is still just a little bit more to go. There's a little bit more theming over this way. And then uh, yeah, kind of empties out back towards, you can see here towards the path um, over this way. Kind of give you a little bit of your bearings. We'll do the whole pulled all the way out there. So yeah, there's your bearings right there. So there, oh, and that's the uh, the exit to the uh, gift shop. No, the exit to the viewing gallery. Perfect. So yeah, that is what I got done so far with Pen and Pen Point. Again, I would have gotten a little bit more done, if not the whole thing, um, if not for messing with the actual paths in game for a little bit, because oh my gosh, it drove me nuts. It drove me so crazy. I had to, I literally just had to get, I got up and walked away. I was like, nope, not doing it. I'm done. I just, it's the first time in a while the paths have really uh, beaten me because I, uh, I usually have a pretty good hold on the pathing system in Planet, uh, the Planet series games. It's not, I don't like it, but I have a grasp on it kind of thing. So, um, but anyways, yeah. So well, what do you think so far of Pinniped Point? Uh, those of you that have been to um, Brookfield Zoo, you know, how have I done so far? Uh, again, next episode, I'll try and get some more information because uh, we are going to uh, have this whole thing finished up there and I can kind of spout off some information about it and then whatever I miss you know our awesome Brookfield Zoo uh, historians and aficionados and everything will uh, kind of come in and tidy up the rest so um, but yeah again let me know what you think so far of uh, Pin and Pet Point and uh, yeah just as we sit over here normally I'd want to zoom in on an animal and you could like watch them in their environment and everything or their exhibit but we don't have that so just use your imagination of art arts and uh we'll be <laughs> it'll be good so yeah but uh next episode of brookfield zoo recreation will not be for about another week i think next friday this should be coming out yeah this is coming out on friday so yeah next friday should be uh the next episode of this and uh, hopefully we'll have again the rest of pinniped point done and hopefully starting uh the next area which is a giant dolphin uh exhibit basically it's a giant dolphin building so that's going to be really really cool it's going to change the landscape of uh, brookfield zoo recreation a lot there so um but yeah hopefully y'all will catch uh more episodes uh next week and uh in between them we're gonna be looking at thornton hill zoo got the file back from mr carlos g there 72 and he has done a crazy good job in uh thornton hill zoo so um if you are not a watcher of thornton hill zoo but you're a watcher of brookfield zoo consider watching some of those episodes next week when they come out because he has just wow it looks it's a zoo <laughs> i don't know it's just so it's a zoo so uh, but anyways all right i'm gonna get out of here thanks so much for watching everyone this is your first time hanging out and you've uh, uh, held on this long through my ramblings go ahead and hit that subscribe button stay up to date with all the videos also hit the like button helps out the channel helps out the video so hey thanks so much everyone until the next episode of brookfield zoo see you later